I was talking to a friend the other day and um, she told me at our conversation that uh, she's trying to get rid of some stuff. Um, we all do, I guess, or at least we think about it. And it made me think myself uh, because she said, yeah, my, my husband tries to sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace and other places, you know, just get rid of some stuff. Because eventually, um, I do this now or start to do this now, the clutter and the stuff that accumulated over the years. Or my kids eventually will have to do it because after I'm gone. And this is one of the things in my own experience, like what do we leave behind? Uh, even with stuff, I mean, material things, whatever they are, how much do we need of it? And that's a whole nother story. But uh, think about what you need in life. What do we need in life? Basics. And uh, I come back to that. I circle back to that because, you know, I just want to finish this with my friend. And so she she was uh, talking to Cher about this. Like when she was in her 20s, like there's a lot of things she didn't have, she didn't need. And uh, she's now in her 50s. And looking back, it's like, what happened? <laughs> what happened in this 30 years Plus that uh, I got all this stuff now and half of it, or probably more than that, I don't really need, but we have it. And now we're stuck with it because, you know, if you have a place, if you have a space, like here in America, a lot of people have big houses. I mean, there's a movement more and more. Maybe it's worldwide. I don't know. It's just to, you know, the downsize, to have less, to live with less, to be more, um, you know, uh, satisfied with what you have, not what you don't have. Or it's just always the need of wanting more, wanting something else. Because it's in us, you know, if we don't have peace in our hearts, we need, we need to fill it with something. If you have a place big enough, a house, however big or small, you'll fill it with stuff. That's just the way it is. If you have an extra room, you, we all have this room, right? Like when guests come around and you have this one room or even closet, and you just throw it all in there, and just make it disappear, shot it. Hopefully nobody opens it up. Uh, and then the whole thing is going to happen again after uh, the people are gone, guests are gone, life takes place. And till the next guests arrive, and then you do the thing over again. Uh, we all been there. I think we all do that. But um, if we only have a certain amount of space, we probably have less stuff. Because if we have more space, we just fill it. It's just it's just our nature. I'm not a gatherer, uh, not at all. I learned over the last few years to live with much less, even much less. Even before, I I think I never had a lot of stuff. It doesn't mean a lot to me. And now, you know, in an age that we live where, let's see, just think about DVDs or VHS for those who remember, or even CDs now with music. Like you have, you, you don't need, I used to rip my CDs into my computer and have it on iTunes file, iTunes files and, you know, like change the format. And I thought that was great. And now you have people again, especially young people, they go back into LPs and buy this stuff, which is great. But I'm like, why? I don't get it. You know, like I came from there. I, I remember cassettes, then LPs, uh, DV, uh, CDs, DVDs, and now it's all streaming. It's like uh, you have music available, you have movies available, and which means less clutter, less stuff that you actually need. I think, I think that's great, personally. But uh, think about it again, like what do you need in life? Uh, we have basic needs. Basic needs is like, well, you need a roof over your head, right? The place that you can rest and sleep and live. Uh, it doesn't mean like you need a big mansion. If that's what you want and can afford, that's good for you. But uh, do you really need that? How much time do you spend actually at home? I mean, I love to go outdoors a lot. So I am at home more uh, and I enjoy that. But um, like, uh, how much space do we need? Just a question. Then we need, you know, food. And uh, since uh, the last two years, a lot of people have embraced uh, cooking again, especially here in America, because uh, you couldn't go out. They didn't want to go out. And actually, it costs, you know, costs something to go and eat out other than do it yourself. And actually, I personally have always enjoyed cooking. And, uh, you know, whether the last two years happened or not, I always did that, still do that and enjoy it. And it's cheaper <laughs> and it's better. I think. Uh, so we need food. We need these basic essentials to feed ourselves. And then we need uh, clothes. But but again, they're like, I tell people, and I'm serious, I have two, two jeans, two pairs of jeans. That's all I have. I don't need more. Why do I need more? Uh, I have one, well, maybe two jackets, but, you know, like one for more working stuff and one for the elements, you know, being out here. But, uh, but even there, and I'm not going to go into details how much other stuff I have or not, I have really you would be surprised with how little you can live. I mean, if you look at your closet, if you have one, or maybe two, 
or three, how much stuff is in there? And when was the last time you actually, you know, the last time you wore certain things? And here's a rule. I mean, I don't know exactly the rule is, but if you haven't wore something for, let's say, half a year or even longer, then why do you need it? <laughs> why, why is it in there? It just takes up space and you actually don't need it. I'm not talking about if you have, you know, for occasions you need a suit, to, let's say, for a wedding or a funeral or for certain occasions, unless you work, you know, in, a, in an environment where you need to wear a suit all the time, then you probably have more than one. So, but you know what I'm saying, or even shoes, or it's just a lot of, just in general, how much stuff do we need? Think about it. Think about it. Look at it, your life, analyze it, look at it through what you own. And, you know, the question is always, do you own something or does this something own you? How much time do you spend for it? How much time do we spend shopping and getting more stuff? And how much is enough? And I had the conversation with somebody else. It's like, I do this, I get this, I get this, but I'm never satisfied. No, you're not satisfied because those things eventually will not satisfy you. There's other things I can share with you that satisfy you. I think what satisfies is if we need peace inside and that peace is found if we are in a relationship with God. That's just my take on this, um, what works for me. And what I see works for other people that I know as well. But, you know, if there was no peace inside, we keep searching. We keep looking. We try to fill whatever we think we need to fill our lives with, with stuff, let's say material stuff. There's other things, obviously, that we can fill it with. I'm just talking about stuff now. What do we need to live? But, uh, but think about it. Think about it yourself. Look through your closet with stuff around your house. And uh, maybe it's a good idea that not... Whoever comes after you has to deal with this, but you, you deal with it yourself, not somebody else. That's your fight. That's your battle. You can do it. And uh, because, you know, as I realized when I helped or cleaned out the house of my parents after my dad passed away, so much stuff, so much stuff, man. And at the end, you know, there's a few items that meant something to me. Obviously, there's others that meant something for my sisters or my mom from my dad, but a lot of stuff. What meant something to him doesn't might, doesn't necessarily mean something to me or to somebody else. But I got some objects that are really, 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 I felt, uh, have a, a, rela- a, a connection to, maybe a relationship because it's, it belonged to my dad and it means something to me, a nostalgic value. Not even the material worth of something, man. This is worth a fortune, fine, you know, with money. No, this is worth a fortune for me, for my heart. So these objects are great. Hopefully you hold on to that and maybe we can pass it on. But there's a lot of stuff that, listen, nobody, nobody will give a flip if we're gone, if I'm gone, that because it doesn't mean anything to anyone, um, certain things. So hold on to those things that mean something, uh, have a value for you personally and get rid of the, of the rest. You know, do some, do some, uh, throw some stuff out. Why not? Why not go right now and look through it and say, I don't need this anymore. Give it to somebody or put it on, on marketplace or somewhere or, you know, sometimes just put it outside and somebody will pick it up. Anyway, that's just my perspective on this. That's just thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Um, declutter, uh, downsize, um, live with less. Um, what do you need? What do you need to live? Thomas out. Bye bye.